prejudice discrimination and inequality prejudice and discrimination prejudice is bias and discrimination is basically an unfavorable action behavior and treatment prejudice leads to practice of discrimination both prejudice and discrimination are against the feeling of democracy causes of rise of prejudice and discrimination Prejudice and discrimination are the two main evils against the progress of any nation. In the past, these have caused enough harm to our country. Now, we need to know the causes which encourage the rise of prejudice and discrimination. A few of the causes are many a time differences between the minorities and majorities may cause rise in the origin of prejudice and discrimination leading to communal conflicts. apathy towards the general social forces ignorance etc may give rise to prejudice and discrimination harmful results of prejudice and discrimination practice of prejudice and discrimination may cause very harmful results which could be very damaging to the nation and society in many ways suspicion bitterness and mistrust could increase in the society due to prejudice and discrimination prejudice and discrimination may cause harmful results in the political domain as well stress and strain between various social groups can hinder progress of both the groups steps needed for the reduction of prejudice and discrimination though prejudice and discrimination cannot be wiped out completely in a short time from the society but it can be reduced for sure Hence we should take steps to reduce both these evils from our society some of the suggestions are it is suggested by the scholars that in order to remove prejudice and discrimination from individual and collective life one should encourage intercaste marriages among different races religions and classes further legislation can also be helpful to reduce prejudice and discrimination in society education whether direct or indirect can teach appreciation of various cultures and reduce prejudice and discrimination inequality and discrimination like prejudices inequality also affects the social life and leads to discrimination in simple words inequality means difference in treatment the various caste distinctions can lead to inequality Since ancient times Indian society has always been divided over the caste issue during the freedom struggle dalits women tribals and farmers fought not only for freedom from foreign rulers but also for dignity and equality constitutional provision against discrimination and inequality our constitution guarantees seven fundamental rights to indian citizens It contains powerful provisions to fight discrimination, right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights, right to constitutional remedies, right to life and personal liberty as per 86th amendment of 2002. Article 46 of the constitution states The states shall promote with special care the educational and economic interests of the weaker sections of the people and in particular the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes and shall protect them from social injustice and all forms of exploitation. Fundamental rights. Rights which are essential or fundamental for the well-being of a person are called the fundamental rights. The fundamental rights guarantee civil liberties such that all Indians can lead their lives in peace and harmony as citizens of India. Part 3 of the Constitution of our country deals with the fundamental rights. It contains powerful provisions to fight all forms of discrimination. The provisions guaranteed in the Constitution are the right to equality. The right to equality means that the state shall not discriminate against any citizen on grounds of religion, race, caste, sex, place of birth, etc. The right to freedom. The right allows every citizen of India to be free from the ancient form of slavery. This fundamental right is described in the constitution as all citizens shall have the right to freedom of speech and expression. to assemble peacefully and without arms to form associations or unions to move freely throughout the territory of india 
to reside and settle in any part of the territory of India, to practice any profession or to carry on any occupation, trade or business. The right against exploitation. The right against exploitation allows Indian citizens to stand up against any kind of exploitation that he or she might be going through. The right to freedom of religion. The right to freedom of religion allows Indian citizens to choose any religion that he or she wants to choose. Cultural and educational rights. The cultural and educational rights is one of the six fundamental rights that have been granted to us in the Indian constitution. This right allows every citizen of India to enjoy his cultural and educational rights. The right to constitutional remedies. The right to constitutional remedies allows Indian citizens to stand up for their rights against anybody, even the government of India.